What up guys, Link the One here again, I'm bringing you part 2 of the solo survival mode breakdown for the map of Carbon. Uh, just to start off, I'm going to bring you the spawn locations once again, that way you know where to start off in the last vid. And we can continue this video series with a little bit of fluency. Uh, I would like to talk about the spawn a little more. Uh, the one up top, the highest one that I show you with the squares, that one is definitely the most uh, obscure as it uh, it changes it changes based off of where you are located most of the time. Uh, right there you get to see me fail throw a nade. Uh, later on in this video, this specific video, I will show you the spawn nade. That way you know how to use it very effectively. So let's see, this is wave 7 now. So we're going to start with wave 7. Got soldiers, suicide bombers, C4 dogs, and the MP5 is still at large. Suicide bombers and C4 dogs are probably your best friends in this game. They are your comrades in essence. Um, I mean, they have C4 attached, and when you shoot the C4, the C4 is going to go off, right? Or at least it's going to start the timer, and it's going to go off after the timer goes. And I don't know why they would add that. I mean, it's a cool idea and all, but as soon as you shoot them, they become a threat to everybody. And since you're shooting them, you're usually not close enough to the C4 to impact you. So what I suggest is you shoot the C4 guys, and then put a couple bullets into the soldiers around them. That way they're flinched and hunched over, so they're not wanting to move. And then, as soon as that C4 goes off, you get a quad kill, potentially. And, like I said earlier, in the bottom left, if there, you have a quad kill option, you're going to take advantage of that. Alright, so now on to round 8. Um, almost done with the model 18, 1887, my bad. And it's going to be straight MP5. This round is the exact same thing as round 7, except it may be a little bit harder, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't think there really, there's really a big difference that would take place in mattering. So just, like I said earlier, just stay calm, go through the round simply, it's not that hard. Um, I'll probably talk to you again once it's wave 9. There we go, wave 8 is cleared, nothing hard, not even like complicated at all. So moving on to round 9, what do we have? Ah, the first Juggernaut. Um, juggernauts are going to be your most hated adversary in this game type. I mean, out of everything in this game type, Juggernauts are going to piss you off the most. Not because, it's not that they're hard, it's just, it's just they're annoying, <laughs> they're pesky. To get in the way from making life easy. Uh, what I suggest is uh, picking off every other enemy possible. Don't worry about them. I mean, pay attention to where they are located on the map. Make sure you know where they are, because there are there are a lot of red dots on the screen usually, and you want to designate the two, the one to three red dots that the juggernauts take place as. And what you do is you isolate them from the other enemies. You uh, start like a train. You start going som somewhere across the map to take the soldiers with you because they are much faster than the juggernaut. And once you pick them off, then you want to start going for the juggernauts. What I suggest you use is C4 in Claymore. C4 prop predominantly. Um, I think it's for the first juggernaut, five C4s. We like almost always kill them if you stack them up together. There I put four into him, but the fourth one may have missed. And the fifth one, as you can see, kills him. But you have to be careful with C4 around Juggernauts, and there's a reason for that. I think I actually die around wave 20 on this this attempt because of that, and that's actually good. I wasn't that I wanted to not continue. I will go to round 30 for you guys. I just wanted to show you what you can do stupidly to get yourself killed by a Juggernaut, and it's really irritating when I actually do it. I, I try not to do it, but I, with my ADHD rushing method, I usually can't sit there and wait, so take your time with Juggernauts. Get far away from them, set your trap, let them walk into it, and then boom, fuck them in the face. Alright, so now we're what on wave 10? So there you go. First 10 waves, done. Not that hard. If you can't get past the first 10 waves, talk to me. Ask me what you're doing wrong. Let me let me uh, see what you're doing wrong. Let me play with you or something. Just let me know. I don't mind playing with people if they ask. It's just I prefer to play with friends I know for a while. So if, uh, if I ever get big enough, I will play with people. It's just... I have a low tolerance for just people in general. Uh, so let's see what Wave 10 have. Wave 10 brings the first introduction of the AK-47, which is your next installment in the weapon you want to contain with you. Um, right here, I'm about to show you the nade spot. It's going to be in slow-mo so you guys can see this. At about 
four to two seconds, you're going to want to cook your nade and lob it right over there, right by the barrels. And you can watch them spawn. See, look at that. Just spawn. Two or three of them right there. Put a little bullets into them. The nade goes off. Boom. Look at that. Double, triple, simple. And now watch. You'll see the more spawn. You just force them to spawn there. That way, you have less people to worry about to your left and behind you. You just took out in excess of three people, which is very good, controls your count of uh, enemies left, and makes the situation just that much easier. Um, wave 11 is not much different from 10, it's just the soldiers in AK-47 still. Um, try not to be too risky though. I, I know I let you, you'll see me play, I'll be a pretty risky, but at this point, the state and point, you're going to start bleeding a lot faster, and the damage you take is going to start to stack up. You're going to be red. You're going to possibly go down into your revival mode, and you're not going to be happy. All right, and then the last wave for this episode is wave 12. Uh, I think this is two juggling knots this time. So, like, I did waste my nade there. But that's that's just uh, it's a good precautionary uh, concept to take over, to throw your nade there. Uh, nades aren't costly, so don't you won't have to worry about uh, paying for those that often. Uh, this round does have soldiers, the AK-47, but it does have the two juggernauts. Um, uh, there's actually an introduction of a riot shield juggernaut. Uh, they are the best juggernauts you can have. The running juggernauts are the bitchiest. They're the ones that'll take you down almost instantly if you don't pay attention. So like I said earlier, isolate yourself from the juggernauts and the soldiers. Pick off the soldiers while you can, and if you see a juggernaut and start shooting it, your first reaction is to take high tail and run. Do not stay next to the juggernaut. If you pay too much attention to them while there's other soldiers and another juggernaut around you, you're gonna get injured. And uh, just a prime example of using flash grenades and grenades there, flashes will be your best friends. Sometimes they will throw nades back, but they cannot do anything to flashes. So take no take a note of that. Okay, now I got the two juggernauts by themselves, starting to set up C4 traps. Make sure you know which way they're going. You see there's a riot shooter, so you don't have to worry about him. I'm setting up the trap for the big walker. He's gonna piss you off if you don't deal with him first. Riot shooter is really, they're really terrible. They, they can't do anything until they lose their shield. Now what I'm doing here is kind of stupid, but it's only because I know he has a riot shield. If he was a runner, I would not do C4 so openly. And that reason is because they will shoot in midair and the explosion will actually injure you and potentially take you down. So once we get to round 20 or 20-ish on this uh, series, I will show you how that can impact your play and how annoying it gets. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next installment and we'll go from wave 13 to whatever wave I have next. Thank you guys and peace.